Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian here. Today what I'm doing is going to show you how I turned a wheelchair into a wearable exoskeleton suit. Now we don't have anything powering the exoskeleton yet. What this really was was to figure out all the engineering. That way you had fluid motion inside of a metal suit because if you think about it, if you don't have exactly the right pivot points and turn points inside of steel, you're going to look like Johnny Robotic walking around with very, very minimal amounts of movement and looking extremely rigid. So this was my very first engineering prototype of an exoskeleton suit. And like I said, I made this out of a wheelchair. Let me really quickly here take you through how I put this together. Let me flip the camera around so we can get it right in the, uh, the viewer screen there for you. You can see here, here's the front two wheel holders for the wheelchair. We got a main section of the frame, some of the other stuff here. Uh, going all the way down, I've just got it set up right now so that my lower torso fits inside of this nice metal band. I've actually got it set up for double belts. You can see the other buckle loop underneath right here, but right now I just have a single belt on there. These uh, shoulder straps, they come down, they actually go, the belt goes through them down here at the bottom so it all holds into place, giving you a really nice uh, harness to hold you into the exoskeleton suit. Now the main pieces of this exoskeleton are right here. I want a bolt going through there with a nut on it to hold it into place, but this is the main part of this exoskeleton project was designing this rear hip for this leg. You notice how far back behind where my torso is, the actual hip is placed. This allowed for a much more free feeling of motion compared to the hip actually being right here in line with my hip. I found that I tried that first and I didn't like the feeling of it, so I placed the hip quite a ways behind me, the actual metallic hip here. And you'll notice what it does is I've got a pipe inside of a pipe there and it swings if I zoom in for you. You should be able to see right here which one's rotating which one's not so that's one way of rotation right there so that gives us our back and forth now to compensate for that right here what we have is another directional pivot point so if I give you the camera angle here you can see there's another directional pivot right there and that gives us our hip swing right here so we can swing out the hip of it that double position right here this basically allows us this simple hip allows us almost an entire free range of motion incorporated with our obviously we still need a knee here and I've got springs to kind of help bring the, the leg back up right now. Gives me a little less energy required to walk it around. Uh, we're end up putting springs all over this suit just to kind of give you an exo exercising machine. Let me go ahead now and undo the belt real quick and I'll show you exactly how these shoulder straps function. So you pull the belt out of that and get it out of there. A little hard to do one handed and you'll notice here if I set that up it stays up just like this I throw that one up, it pivots up, and now you can basically just back yourself right up into your exoskeleton because these are higher than your shoulders. Sit up into there and then pull these out over your arms, set them down, and then you just run your belt through the lower loops right here on either one of them. Tighten up the belt and the system's now hooked up onto you. Alright, so one of the neat things about this project that will make it different is we're going to experiment with nitinol as the actuation uh, system for the legs or for the joints. Nitinol springs can do all kinds of neat things and I haven't seen anyone apply nitinol yet to exoskeleton or robotic technology openly. So what we'd have basically here is one nitinol spring that's uh, pre-bent for an expansion. So that'll expand your leg out when you go to walk. The other spring sitting right beside it will be preset for a contraction. That will pull your leg up when you go to step. And that's going to be easily actuated by a peltier kind of metallic fabric that we're working on. Two dissimilar conductors woven together. Uh, this gives us the ability to fluctuate current from positive to negative. And we do that, the peltier creates either hot or cold. And that'll give us the actuation through our nitinol, uh, basically nitinol muscle system that we're working on right now. And that'll be later on, we'll show you that. Right now I just got to figure out all the engineering throughout the entire system. I got to put the arms on it, everything else still. And we're going to build a different suit with all of the nitinol on it but this suit is designed just as an engineering experiment like I said all right folks so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get into the exoskeleton I've got it up on a hook probably the hardest part of this is getting myself off the hook once I'm into the suit so real quick here let me go ahead and step into it first thing you're gonna want to do is buckle in your feet so let me get my feet buckled in down here take me just a brief moment later on I'll show you the buckles okay there's one foot buckled in and just tightening down the nut there. Now you want to go ahead and extend the, out the other foot, get down into it. Give me one second. 
Now if I had some wing nuts, this would be a little faster here. All right, so now both of my feet are actually in the suit. You can see I can step upwards and I'm taking the suit's legs with me. Pretty neat stuff. Let's go ahead now back into the suit here. We got our shoulder straps above our shoulders. We pulled the belt out around me here. All right, so we're gonna pull out that shoulder strap, pull it down, stick the belt through the loop just like that. Do the same thing over here, pull that one down, stick the belt through the loop. And over here, we're gonna go ahead and cinch this belt nice and tight. Give me a second here. All right, so, and there we go. We are now in the suit. Let me get myself off this hook. Uh, there. All right, we're walking around, look at that. All right, now that we're in it, I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm gonna set that outside. I'm gonna show you this thing kind of from different angles. Let me go ahead and turn around here so you can see that. You can see what it looks like when I lift my legs. All right, so here we are, we're walking around outside. We're in our exoskeleton suit. And you can tell the engineering has allowed me pretty, pretty free range of motion. I can dance for you if I want to, kick backwards, I can bend down, touch my toes, whatever you want to do in the suit. All right, so here's a quick test of running in the suit. You can see everything I need to do, even backwards, is pretty easy to do in this suit. The engineering of it allowed me the ability some pretty neat free range of motion. All right, I just want to walk by, show you a side look of how those hips and those legs are moving there on that side. Could use a little oil, but definitely got the Tin Man effect going on. So there you go, folks. Thought you'd enjoy. Till next time, this is Mr. Teflonian and the Teflonian Man Show.